In today's video, we'll be talking about the best PDF editor for Android. Let's jump right in. For an app to make it into this video, it has to be able to create PDF. It should also be able to edit and probably carry out other functions like fill forms, accept signatures, and other features. And the two apps that we are going to be looking at today are PDF Editor by OffiWiz and Zodo PDF Reader and Editor. Now, from my experience, these are the two apps that have been able to carry out all these functions flawlessly without any challenge, which means if you have any of these two apps, Apps, you should be able to create PDF, edit PDF, and carry out all the other functions on a PDF file without any difficulty. So starting with PDF Editor by OffiWiz, we see here that we can create PDF. We can create PDF by scanning a document. We can create a PDF from scratch. This is one of the features that we really looked out for. So we can see here that we can create PDF from scratch. Looks like we have only one, one PDF file can be created per day in the free version of the app. So because of that, we are placed on a timer so we can only create another new pdf after 22 hours 39 minutes and three seconds as you can see the countdown is continuously running so besides that you can create pdf by scanning a document you can open an existing pdf like this we can open this pdf and we can also edit the pdf now that we've opened the pdf we can actually go ahead to edit it we can add text to the pdf we can type whatever we want into that text field and it will make it into the final PDF and we can carry out all other text related functions on this particular PDF document. So apart from adding text, we can add uh, annotations, we can add call out, we can add signatures, image, thumbs, etc. You see, we can add highlights, we can underline, we can add annotations, we can even use this same app to fill forms. So as you can see that this is a typical app that can be used to create new PDF and edit that is provided you have the provided you have the paid version all right if you do not have the paid version you have to you know make do with just one maybe one pdf per day now moving on to zodo pdf reader and editor we i have another video on zodo pdf editor and reader somewhere in the channel so please browse the channel and check that video out if you want to see more information on this particular pdf reader and editor now with zodo pdf editor and uh, reader and editor we can create new pdf and it is quite flexible using this app you can create new from image new from documents new from web page and when we say new pdf it, it doesn't have to be a paired version before we can use it so you see that right now zodo pdf reader and editor is the most flexible because it doesn't ask us to pay in fact so many other pdf editors that we've seen most of them require that we pay before we even start doing anything and sometimes we just have three days free trial and sometimes we are asked to log into the cloud their cloud platform before we can use the app so zodo pdf reader and editor seems to be the most free to use more or less and it allows you to create new pdf and it allows you to edit so let's just we've seen the interface where we can create pdf let's just jump into an existing pdf document and see if we can edit the content of the pdf now we have the text here we can okay we tap on edit up here we see we have all the tools displayed out here so you can pick whichever you want you want to add text if you want to add text you can just click on that and uh, set your text settings the color and everything and then you tap on the pdf and you can type whatever you want to type into your pdf document so you can tap at any point in the pdf document and you can add your text now if you want to save you can tap on the text that you just type and click save if you don't want that you can just tap on the pdf on the text that you added to your pdf and click delete besides that you can highlight uh let's let's use you can select your highlighter settings and then you can use that to highlight your text if you want to add some annotation to that you can still add some annotation to your highlight so that anytime you come and you tap on that highlighted portion you can go through your annotation now besides that you can see all the arrays of, of tools that exist here basically you can edit your pdf by adding call out you can add highlight on the line stamps create new stamps and uh, you can view all tools at, the, at a glance you can even translate texts you can even translate texts that exist in your pdf like in this case we have selected the text here 
and we want to translate you can just hit google translate button and it takes us to google translate and we can translate the text on that pdf to any language of our choice now if this video was useful to you please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video